We always hear about celebrities calling for gun control, but then they star in movies that prominently feature them. We've called them out for their hypocrisy at this table over the years, but actor Ethan Hawke is offering some refreshing honesty on the issue. Watch. I mean, people have been talking so much about gun control in this country, and I, I noticed recently, like, if you put in a column every movie I ever did where I carry a gun and every movie where I don't and my salary, like if I asked my father to do the math, yeah, yeah. I really think it would be about 92% to 8%. Hmm. Sorry, I thought that was going to be Ethan Hawke, but it was Mike Baker. <laughs> Everybody knows Mike Baker from Idaho. Just kidding. Obviously, that was Ethan Hawke. Um, this is true about cigarettes, too. Yes. Are you right? talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. All right. We, um, if Hollywood actually believed in their causes, there would be no guns at all. You could imagine in Die Hard, like uh, 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 Bruce McClain fighting those terrorists with peace signs. That's what they would want. So I have an idea. I have an idea. They should apply gun control to movie guns. And the only way you could do this is tax movies by amount of guns and by the amount of bullets that they use per movie. Now this may, so I'm going to, I'm going to wonder, Hollywood's gun control activists, and there are lots of them like Alyssa Milano, Jed Apatow, whatnot, uh, will they be okay for a gun control tax on movies with guns? Tax the bullets, $10,000 every time there's a bullet, <laughs> $100,000 per gun, would they do it? Somebody should introduce that bill tomorrow. Okay. I'm full of ideas. That'd be a good idea. <laughs> and gumption. So because, Jesse, what Ethan Hawke is saying is that yes. movies where he, there's guns, he gets paid 92% oh, more than if he w didn't have a gun in a movie, he would get paid about 8% of his usual. Yeah, Hollywood's made billions off of guns. All the big action movies from the 80s and 90s, whether it was the Die Hard films or Schwarzenegger, Chuck Norris, all these guys, Rambo, Everybody has a gun, and they're all just mowing down. Quentin Tarantino, Kill the Bill, hipster. Quentin, yeah, uh, natural born killers, yeah. all that stuff made a fortune for these studios. And then to come around and say that you want to take away guns from law abiding Americans, a little hypocritical. I wanted to bring something to the, your attention here. This happened yesterday. There was a school shooting. A 19 year old brought a gun, right. started opening fire into a school in Illinois, and an armed resource officer shot him, neutralized him, didn't kill him, right. and saved Prevented lives. Lives. Mm -hmm. That story was not covered anywhere in the mainstream. Media. I was going to do it tomorrow as a monologue. You should. <laughs> Greg's monologue. Yeah, as an exception to the rule. <laughs> no, it is the rule. No, it's not. It's the system, not okay. the bug. All right, all right. But here's, here's the thing about this. When people complain about smoking in movies, it had an impact. Mm -hmm. When people complain, like at but the Oscars. But they still do it, though. No, but they do it much less. It did have an impact. And the same thing, like if you think about the, how gays were demonized in movies, now it's not, not an issue. More black actors, especially up for competition for leads in, in big movies, it does make a difference. And then to say that, yeah, guns have made movies, for, had made money for Hollywood. But in, in a way, it seems to me it's encouraged the culture. I go back to, you know, I'm an old guy, so I go back to things like Gunsmoke, John Wayne, and all that independent, self-sufficient American male. Um, but I wonder if at some point it wouldn't be just if I say, yeah, we can have a discussion about it. it just because it's guns may, doesn't mean you can't discuss it. What do you think, Jennifer? When you say guns encourage the culture, though, what do you no, mean? No, 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 reflect. I think, oh, reflect the well, culture. Well, I think they yeah. help to shape the culture. Yeah. In other words, if you're a guy and you say, you know what, hey, I'm going to have a gun. I'm a real man. And by the way, I saw here that now more parents say as long as the violence is justified, like mm -hmm. self-defense, they don't mind seeing the guns in the yeah. movie. Sometimes people, when they look at television and movies, they just want to be entertained. And yeah. when I think about this effort that could potentially sanitize all of these things and, oh, let's remove the violence and let's only have it, that's not what film and television should be. I mean, right. some of my favorite movies, I love Liam Neeson, I love him in all the Taken movies, some of these these movies and television shows rely on the, that first storyline. How are you going to have a, a, a chase or, you're, you know, you're, you're hunting down a, a killer and you're going to have no guns? It's integral to that. And I, I don't think, I mean, it's like the same argument that people make, oh, if you, if you grow up playing violent video games, you're going to be violent. Or it just doesn't work that way. So you're against way. Greg's tax plan. Well, to tax yes. the I, know, I want, I want to see the, 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 yes, the gun I control am. activists yeah. in California who are in Hollywood accept that plan. I think it would be amazing Which to see would. that happen. But, but it is true, Jesse, that if you read as a youngster, you do become a... I don't like this girl. narrative that's now <laughs> sprung up about me. Wait, 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 wait. Can we work Russia into this segment? Mother. Let's work Russia. I don't want you to have a heart attack, so we are not going to do that. <laughs> All right.